what's up everybody what's up what's up we back with another video man i know it's been a while i've been slacking but like i said you know i'm across uh different platforms and i got multiple channels and stuff that i do for the people that subscribe over here and tune in over here so y'all know how that go but um i i don't try to go just too extended amount of time without dropping y'all something i'm about to get a workout in an arm workout uh bicep and tricep so i figured while i'm doing exercises I talked to y'all about exactly how I had lost the weight I've lost or whatever. You know, we did. I did the follow-up video because I know uh, people drop these transformation videos and then they never follow up. Like, they drop their video and then you get all this uh, you get all this slew of traffic come through and then don't nobody know how they're currently doing or they kept the weight off, they relapsed and all, all of that. So, you know, I'm going to be talking about how... I lost all the weight, and uh, I'm going to be telling y'all how, you know, I'm keeping it off or whatever. And currently, uh, I went down 100 and, 108 pounds, I think. I can't remember. I think it was 108, but it was over 100 plus pounds in 180 days. And uh, like I said, I'm currently, since then, it's been two years since I lost that weight. Uh, well, it's about to be two years. This year will be two years. Uh, but... Like that, since then, man, I gone up like 25, 25, 28 pounds by choice or whatever. It's by choice, you know, to put on more size stuff. I got down to the 190s. I really didn't. I don't like being that small. So, you know, it's by choice. I like my look now. So, I keep this look and I'm going to talk about how I maintain it. So, I'm going to get uh, I'm gonna get this bar set up. I'm about to go, go in the straight bar curls. Uh, First, I like to do that. So we're gonna go in straight bar curls. Uh, I'm probably gonna lower the weight, go for repetitions, cause I've been lifting heavier uh, with low reps for the last few weeks. So I'm gonna get this set up. Y'all know if you've been watching my exercise video before, you know I do supersets. So straight bar curls, and then we're gonna go into a tricep kickback with the 50s. All right, so we're gonna get this uh, set up. And while I'm gonna get this set up, uh, I talked to y'all about how I did it. So the first, the, the real first step of uh, losing that weight is getting yourself together, that type of weight. Just losing weight period, any amount of weight is getting yourself together mentally. So the first thing is, the first step is like, just being tired of being sick and tired, you know, just like with life anyway. So the first step in losing weight, it might it may seem or sound corny, but it's real life. Like you just got to really get to that point where you say, man, I had enough. I really had enough. And then get your life together. And that's what happened with me. Um, cause it was even worse than me because I, I had lost weight one time before. And if I put that transformation video up too, I lost 76 pounds in 180 days the first time. So and I got this transformation video up. So, you know, coming from losing 76 pounds in 180 days to gaining gaining all of that back and then some, which is not uncommon. That's, you, you know, you'll hear that from a lot of people that relapse. They gain more weight than what they had lost. And for me, it don't take but one time. Like, I'm not relapse no more. It's been going on two years now. Last time... It was over the course of, I think, a year and a half or something like that. And, you know, that's the first thing. The first step is just being sick and tired of being sick and tired and your mental together. And, uh, you know, just making the decision that you're going to take this journey serious. You're going to take your health serious. And you're going to get yourself in line or whatever because, you know, it's all uphill in the end. It ain't about, it, it, it's about what you eat and stuff, but... It's all up here in the end. It really in your mind. I know you hear it, but it is cause your mind gonna uh, translate to you maintaining a good, healthy, and clean and proper diet. It's gonna translate to you maintaining, staying active, and all that. So if this the most important thing in a weight loss journey and staying healthy, or just changing your body, period. If you ain't got it up here, everything else gonna fall apart. So we're gonna get to the curls now. All right, we're gonna do the warm up set. Take this off and turn around for y'all. We're gonna do the warm up set. Uh, my arm pretty strong. I curl a lot, so 
I'm warming up with y'all. Uh, uh, this, let me see what it is, 55, 6, 65 pounds. So we're gonna go to warm up set just to get the arms warmed up. You definitely wanna do a warm up set. You don't wanna just jump straight in the weight. So I'm going to go straight into, straight into the uh, kickbacks. Just kick it back like that. So we're going to set down on kickbacks. And we're going to go into our first set on that. Alright, so uh getting the weight changed over and waiting. We're gonna talk y'all about the second step in losing that type of weight. Before we get into that, the curl of my next set, this is gonna be my set I stayed at. I won't be changing weight. Uh, I'm just gonna wrap it out. Probably sets of uh 15. This is uh 85 pounds. Normally I use 115 plus when I'm going heavier, but it's 85, so I'm gonna stick with this. But the second thing, and I'm looking at the camera, camera cripple. Let's straighten y'all out. Let's straighten y'all out first. We can't. I can't have the camera crooked. It should get it right there. All right. So the uh. The uh, second thing is the actual diet. Uh, people ask all the time. I, saw, I see these in the comments. I get asked on my Facebook. I get asked offline, this and that. And you know, you got to give people real short answers and stuff. And this question gonna be not real detailed cause what, uh, it's not like a one solution fits all. Sometimes I do meal plan and stuff too, but Sometimes you have to tweak it for people cause some people diabetic or some people got other health conditions and stuff. So, you know, you can't just, you can't just recommend some foods that you would recommend to one person, you can't recommend to the other. But for the most part, uh, to keep it simple, what you want to do is read the labels. Like I always emphasize this because a lot of people don't do this because of the time it takes People don't want to read the labels and stuff. Um, and I mean the nutrition label. That's what I'm saying. And actually measure your food out. Um, it it, it seemed it seemed like a small step. It seemed like something real small, but it makes all the difference between your results being ordinary and extraordinary. Cause what I what I've achieved is not really uh it's not really ordinary. And you know, you hear a lot of people that that I, I'm gonna say for somebody at my weight, at my starting weight, uh, it's not, uh, it's it's not ordinary, you know. But it's to to get to get extraordinary results, you got to do extraordinary things. So you gotta you gotta go the extra mile that the next person not willing to do, you know. So if you're gonna be one of those people that just gonna eyeball your food and feel like, hey, this is good, like you know, people might consider collard greens good. This that some soul food, you know. When I was growing up. My parents say, hey, eat your greens, this and that. It was soul food, but that food, even it itself, is not necessarily healthy. It's, it's how it's prepared. Uh, you know, if you're using a lot of if you're using a lot of meats and stuff to tender uh, uh, to season your, your your greens or whatever, it's still not healthy. You're putting a lot of you up in the sodium content, or you know, it's a lot of grease involved with soul food cooking and stuff. So it's not necessarily healthy. It's about how you prepare the stuff. So at the end of the day, you want to read the labels, and that's what I did. I took the time out and I measured out all my food. I read what the serving size is because people look at the nutrition facts and look at the calories first thing you look at. And some people don't know what a calorie is. I'm going to talk about that in the next section. But uh, they look at the calories, but don't look at the serving size. That The nutrition labels always give you those facts per serving. But you got to look at what is considered a serving size. A whole pack might not be a serving size, which most of the time it's not. 
So I did everything by serving size and I calculated my caloric intake for the day, which you can just use, do a simple Google search and or you can use some of these apps they have on the phones and it'll tell you if you want to lose X, Y, Z amount of weight, this is how many calories you should be taking in at your body weight and at your height. And whether you're a man or a woman, that matters. Um, a 200 pound man and a 200 pound woman cannot take in the same amount of calories. You gotta understand that women have to take in uh, significantly less calories than a man. Our caloric intake has to be higher. And it's just the way our body set up. So with me, I measured out every single thing. And I mean, I don't I don't get into details about the food because it's kind of like, it's kind of like you know the law. You know, you know what's good for you, you know what's bad for you. You know table salt not good for you. You know stuff with high sodium, which is salt, it's not good for you. Uh, carbohydrates, I try to educate people on that. Carbohydrates can be good for you now, unless you know you're diabetic and stuff, you gotta watch that. But if you're not diabetic or, or pre-diabetic and this and that, then carbs aren't bad. You know, you got to know how to balance. Our body needs to need a little bit of everything, realistically. You need a little bit of sugar, you need a little bit of sodium, you need a little bit of everything, but not too much. Uh, vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium. Uh, people normally uh, tie that stuff in as being good, which it is, but if you got too much calcium, too much vitamin A, all of that, too much protein, that can hurt you too. So realistically, we need a little bit of everything. So, I, you know, you want to read your labels, measure your stuff out by the serving size, and, you know, you need to you read them labels, be familiar with what protein does for you, what sodium does for your body, what vitamin A, what calcium does for your body what fats do for your body. You know, start educating yourself on what this stuff does for your body and then you can you can kind of gauge on how much of this you should take in per day. Find out what your caloric intake needs to be. Set yourself a schedule, which is gonna be the next thing. I took long enough rest, let's get into curve. All right, set number two, y'all. Set number two. Two, they were set number two on the kickbacks and set number one on the curls. So, just film the rig, the uh, A side to show y'all how to perform. Y'all see, I don't curl all the way up because when you get past that, you're coming out the pump basically. You'll feel when, you're, when your muscle tighten up, when you're working a particular muscle, you feel that muscle contracting like, you, like you're making a muscle, you know, you're working. So, that's why I curl halfway then, you know, you feel your bicep tighten up, come back down. I don't curl all the way up. Some people tend, if the weight too heavy, they'll curl all the way up, then you're picking the weight up like that. You don't do that. So halfway up, keep tension on the muscle. Get that pump, like my arm's tight right now. That's how it should be. But uh, I ain't gonna film no more of this. Y'all see how to do it. I film neck exercise, I'm gonna film each exercise twice. But uh. Like I said, the next thing is setting a schedule. Now, it's the biggest thing, man. Like when I do when I do meal plans for people, uh, the biggest thing is setting a schedule. I do a lot of meal plans for a lot of truck drivers, a lot of truck drivers. I done helped a lot of them, but you know, they schedule kind of crazy. You know, you talk to truck drivers, man. They know the gain weight. And they say it too. They tell you if somebody on here watching drive trucks, they get in a truck. It's easy to gain weight. A lot of people say that too. A majority of my people that come to me for meal plans, a lot of them truck drivers. And uh, you know, the thing, the thing is, no matter what your schedule is, you can make it work. You know, I, I always say this, it ain't no excuse for, you know, uh, not achieving what you want to achieve because it's somebody out there that's making it work. You got to understand that. If you drive trucks, or whatever you do, as hectic as your schedule is, it's somebody out there with the same schedule as you, or worse, and they making it happen. So when you start thinking like that, 
then you know you can make it happen. So, for instance, with a truck driver, you know, it meal prep is important. Meal prep, you know, you got to look at eating more raw foods. Some people can't eat raw foods like I can. Like I can eat raw carrots, celery, things of that nature, and really vegetables in their raw form, that's the healthiest you're going to get them. That's the healthiest you're going to get a vegetable is in its raw form, if you can bear to eat it. A lot of people can't. I can, but it's stuff like that where, you know, you can keep in a cooler with ice and it stay chilled, and, you know, and make it happen. Like, even meats you can, you know, you can chill them. Take you a cooler, put you a, a cooler, what you can fit in your truck, because obviously you can't keep a refrigerator, but, you know, keep your cooler and stuff. Till your meats, if you're at work, you de if you work a traditional job, you definitely can make it happen. It's setting a schedule, you know, eating your three times a day. Or if you want to practice intermediate fasting, you might eat two times a day, you know, and giving yourself a window. Definitely giving yourself a cutoff time, you know, because I always say this, good rule of thumb, you do not want to eat within uh, at least three to four hours of going to sleep. So what that means, if your bedtime is 10 o'clock, then... You don't want to be eating your dinner at 7.30. Give your food time to start the digesting process. Um, it, it takes a minute to break down food. Even the smallest amount of food you ate, it takes time to break that down. So give your body time to start that process. You know, give it time. It's going to break it down either way when you sleep. But, you know, that's when you'll see fluctuations on the scale. That's why some people tell you it doesn't matter what time you eat. In, in a sense, it don't. But... You know, it can it can affect your weight when you sit on a scale because our bodies, our weight goes up and down all throughout the day. So if you, and I always recommend a person weighing in the morning. So if you do eat, let's say within two hours, it's a good chance you're going to get on a scale. Your weight might be up because your food might not be, you know, completely processed. And that time it really should be. But what I'm saying, it could affect your weight, like water retention and stuff like that, of that nature. So I just say... Uh, I, I never ate within three hours of going to sleep. I just didn't. I had a cutoff time, and uh, I still do. I have a cutoff time, like, hey, this is it. I'm not eating past that. I'm good. And then the next thing I'm going to talk about is how do you beat the hunger? I talk, I did a video on this, but I'm going to talk about that too. All right, so we, I'm on my second exercise hammer curl with fitness, and then an overhead tricep extension with the uh, fit air yeah, well, so. on the bicep peak um, and then overhead dumbbell tricep extension like I said I'm going for reps today so the weight is lower and all of that and the next thing I actually never forgot what I was going to talk to talk to y'all about after the schedule or whatever but we're going to roll right along with uh, the steps I took you know to lose this weight and also keep it off. Let's talk about that too. Let's talk about the keeping it off. Cause this uh this goes back to this goes back to the mental side of things, like staying mentally uh focused. And you know, if you one of those people, with as far as keeping it off, you one of those people, and by the time you lose that type of weight, you should be there mentally, but sometimes people not, don't set yourself up for failure. You know, you know you can't resist a certain food. Don't have it in your house. Don't go where that food would be. You know, if it's if if uh, your friends or something having some kind of get together. I'm not saying neglect your social life. I'm just saying when you're dur during your journey, it's essential. Especially your first thirty to sixty days, it's essential. If you got to turn down a party or a get together or going out to a restaurant, you got to do that. You got to do that, man, for the first sixty days. Cause I'm just telling you, most people not mentally there. Now, I got a strong will. I could just say, hey, I don't want to fool with it, which I did many times, and friends and family will both tell you if they was here. 
but everybody not set up like that. If you know you're not set up like that, well, you're not gonna be able to resist something. Don't go, don't go for right then. Build your mental up first. You know, even if you feel like you're gonna relapse, if you if you take one bite of something and you feel like, hey man, it's gonna spiral me down here, don't do it. Don't do it. Like I said, you know, you know right from wrong. We know what's good, we know what's bad. Some foods, some foods people don't know bad for them, but for the most part, we know what's good and we know what's bad or whatever. So, you know, it, it's a it's a lot with mental and all of that, man. Uh staying mentally focused, like staying uh tuned in to people that's keep you keep you motivated. You know, stay looking at stuff that keep you motivated. To, that keep you remind you why you on the journey, why you trying to get healthy. You know, you really save your own life at the end of the day. You know, you save your own life. I tell everybody it's more to it than just you look better. It's a lot more to it than that, man. It's about how you feel more than anything. And it takes for you to actually shed the excess weight to understand that feeling. Like it, it's a lot more to it than you look better and stuff. Then appearance wise, man. It's just the feeling, just knowing you healthier. And you know, you're gonna extend your life. That's that's what you're doing. You're giving yourself a life extension call. What you feed in your body, it's gonna your body gonna give back to you. It's gonna show it. You're gonna feel it, just everything, man. You know, so if you ain't taking care of what you got, it's gonna show. It's just like your car, man. If you don't change your oil, you know, you don't wash your car, it's gonna be dirty, it's gonna, it's gonna look ugly, it's gonna run bad, and eventually your engine, you're gonna kill the lifetime of your engine. So you gotta look at it like what you feed in your body and you stay activist, you change your oils, and your car, like cars, cars can go bad since still. They can go bad since still. Same thing with you. Don't stay since still. You know, if you don't move, your bones gonna hurt, your body gonna ache, man. You just gonna get tired walking from here to there. Like, it's just stuff like that, simple stuff, man. So, you know, that's pretty much how I did it. That wraps up how I did it. I don't wanna extend this video, make it super long and drawn out, cause it's really simple, man. It's like three steps, you know, it's, it's the mental, the food, and the activity. Mental, food, activity, that's what it's about, you know. Anybody can make it happen, it don't matter. It's a little harder for women, but you know, I don't wanna just be all over the place with this video. But like I said, those are the main three things. So I'ma uh, I'm throw in the last two exercises I'm gonna do just to show y'all what I'm gonna do if you wanna do this workout. And uh, then I'm gonna wrap the video up. All right, so third exercise, I know I do four. Try to wrap it up, I gotta pick up a little girl. So then uh, do the pinwheel curls. Just curl to the side like that. Alright, so what I just did there was I saw I call them pinwheel curls. You curl it to the side, basically, y'all saw it. And we went into a straight ball bench. I mean, I said straight ball. <laughs> close grip bench, which works is a tricep exercise. You just close in your grip. It's not like a traditional bench press, close in your grip. Keep your arms tight and it focuses on the triceps, solely on the tricep versus your chest. It keep you from contracting your chest. So we got that. The last thing I'm gonna do is a, a concentration curl where you sit down on the bench. Uh, Put your arm, your elbow on your knee, and then you go down, you curl, do a concentration curl in a dumbbell or dumbbell score across a single arm. So I'll show y'all that. So yeah, we're wrapping it up. Go ahead and get this workout knocked out, and we're gonna close the video out. All right, we're on the last exercise of the workout. Concentration curl. Turn the way so y'all can see. At this point, I'm doing 10 reps now because, like I said, I'm about to burn my arms out of stuff. But go right here, just up right there. You're going to feel your muscle contract. Just stay, you know, stay focused. It's 
just remember number one rule in losing weight and keeping weight off is all mental. It's all up here. It's your mind. It's your mindset. You, you sprinkle the technical stuff in there, but just remember the number one rule is just being mentally focused, mentally prepared, and all of that. Everything else going to fall in place. So stay tuned in to the content, to the channel. I'm not, I'm not going to never just forget the channel. Just stay tuned in. I'm going to stay dropping stuff for y'all. Uh, turn on post notifications so that way you won't miss nothing since I'm so sporadic at this point. So just turn on the post notifications. Appreciate everybody watching, man. Y'all stay motivated.